Hi, I'm Kat Morell. We're at Redline Milwaukee, a nonprofit art incubator that hosts studios, classes, print and paper making facilities, and a gallery space. Today, we'll check out the exhibition of work by Redline's founders. So, let's go look at this. called fatigue, but if you ask me, it's anything but that. One of the great things is how the three artists in the show, Laurie Bauman, Laura Mirage, and Steve Van de Zandt, use different techniques and materials in surprising ways. Laura Mirage has taken a series of self-portrait photographs and printed them on these gossamer-like pieces of fabric. Yes, they are quite angsty, but that also makes them quite fascinating. If you're familiar with the paintings of Francis Bacon, you might be mentally recalling those sorts of images too, distorted open mouth figures like a silent scream. What is powerful about these is how supple the pictures are and how gently they float above everything, very intense emotions in such a delicate way. Lori Bauman uses a lot of different materials in her work. Some of it is humorous and cheeky, but not lightweight at all. This piece reminds me of the sort of pose you'd find in fashion magazines, that sort of conscious posture. But it's like we're seeing not only the body, but inside the body. And the stuff used is great. Packing tape is not just for boxes. And this detail I love, the grommet making the joint of the skeletal arm. And let's also not forget the wonderfully clever art installation system in place. Pants hanger. Bauman also takes collage into the realms of children's rhymes. Perhaps you recognize one Mr. Humpty Dumpty? He looks so poised, doesn't he? But, oops. Bauman creates a sort of surrealist landscape as the backdrop for the story. And again, the details are captivating. This part, for example, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. Steve Van de Zandt shows a number of pieces in print and collage, as well as some sculptures. This one is like a drawing, but blown out into three dimensions through the use of rope. The hands are particularly wonderful for their intricacies. And if we step back slightly, hands are grasping for heads. This is Van de Zandt's series, Urging Nausea. The few lines that make up the figures are just enough to communicate that feeling too. The body language is captured powerfully, and if feeling green around the gills is the body language, it's offset by the cheery color blocks in the background. The choice of installing the pieces low to the ground is great. You feel like you're hovering over the figures, and the feeling of writhing on the floor then becomes even more pronounced. It's empathetic and also enthralling. Thanks for coming along on the short tour of Fatigue at Redline Milwaukee. See you next time when we look at something else.